Professor Robinson, current captain and player of the netball team. Uh, Dr. Comrie, it is indeed an honor and privilege for me to be, have been tasked with interviewing you today. Your academic student athlete, scholar, is very much legendary here. Uh, Dr. Comrie, what, during what period did you attend Arden High School? First of all, thank you so much for welcoming me here today. It is really a pleasure for me to return to my wonderful Arden High School and, you know, and to be called to talk about my favorite sport. <laughs> so I started Arden in 1960. <laughs> That's when I went to first form here. And, you know, I was here and I also went to sixth form. So I was here for a long time. Okay. Nice. Uh, how did you get involved in netball and was that the only sport that piqued your interest? It really was. My friends did track, but track was not for me. I just love netball. Maybe it's because, you know, my... Beyond the sport, I think I was built for it with my height oh. and my long legs so I could jump and I was successful at it so I just... Don't, you know, you don't argue with success. Yes. So I stayed focused on what I did very well, mm -hmm. and I'm happy I did. Lovely. Who were the people that inspired you to, be the, to perform at the best that you could? Well, always it's about your coach, and then my wonderful teammates. My coach was Mrs. Margaret Beckford, mm -hmm. who met her husband, who is a Jamaican, in, Lo in London. And so they got married. And 10 years later, he came back, back home Germany. after he got a job with the government. We were fortunate to have her because she was a serious netball yeah. player and coach. And so she has worked with us and she, has, she, she did the most amazing job because it wasn't just about the netball. When we weren't, do, for those who weren't doing well in school, in the, you know, the sciences and the arts, she would talk to them about it. And what I liked about Mrs. Beckford is that she loved the sport and her family knew that, so, her husband would come to the practices. He would sit on the sideline to give us, you know how when you play so hard, you're so happy to see the orange and the little water. Oh, refreshments. A refreshments. So he would provide that. And her kids were, you know, they were small and they were right there on the court. And, you know, we just saw them. And Alan Beckford, who is very big in soccer, he was Mrs. Bexford's son. Nice. Your achievement as a scholar at Arden is unprecedented. How did you manage to maintain both uh, the scholarship that you had as well as doing well in the sports? Because I had a mother whose mantra was education, education, education. So as much as she was excited about my sports, the grades had to be well. So there was no compromise. So we had to study. And she was an active parent in that she is right there when we're doing our homework. And she was president of the Parent Teachers Association here. Even when, because all four of us, my brother and my other two sisters, we are, all four of us went to Arden. Oh, wow. So she was president of the PTA for a long time. Mm -hmm. Interestingly enough, after we left, she, stayed on they made her stay as a cta <laughs> president wow. that's how great she was that's good uh dr Comrie, can you please describe a typical day at arden 